What up, fam? Ski, this is your New Bedford's friendly neighborhood resident Portuguese thick boy from Massachusetts, Eric Lima, over here. Uh, present to you another video episode in which I present to all of you my sentimental thoughts come from the heart and soul, and my mental eyeball shenanigans come from the mind and brain. This is EML77 TV, episode 981. We're 19 episodes away from 1000, and I'm totally really excited. Um, Got the, um, my new computer. I went about less than 24 hours, probably 22 or 23 hours without a computer. Um, it got knocked out about 7.30 last night. Uh, but unfortunately, I would lose all the, the data I got in the thing. But, um, but be it as it may, um, that is the way it is. Um, I'm also really excited about, um, also this, uh, brand new, uh, like I said, I talked about it, also a brand new improvement on the webcam, uh, got, got new av availabilities and, and such, and I'm amazed, I'm very, very amazed, so I did receive a major, major upgrade. Uh, let's go, so, so. I'm really excited about this uh, new computer and all that. And uh, I found out that some of the shirts that were on 80stees.com are now on Amazon. And I'm buying a uh, couple of them, so they'll be coming in the mail pretty soon. I'm really excited, and it's going to be a great, great day. And it's uh, going to be uh, even better. And uh, so we'll see what happens here and there and everything else. So, um... So let's check it out. SmackDown 205 Live. Let's check out SmackDown. SmackDown, I'll tell you one thing right now. Before I get into what SmackDown is all about, I watched the show. And if SmackDown has any smidge of a chance to win a Survivor Series, they got to get along. I mean, everybody. You know, and I think a lot of egos are going to cost SmackDown. I think Raw's got the advantage, and I will tell you why. Because Roman Reigns' ego is running, running rampant. Um making Pierce to make matches and whatnot. You got King Corbin thinks he's still king. You know, you got people trying to injure people with Uso trying to hurt Daniel Bryan. You know, Kevin Owens is trying to keep the team together. You got Seth Rollins messing with the Mysterio family and along with Murphy with Aaliyah. And it's all, you know, Rollins, I think Rollins and Reigns are the main weak links in, on SmackDown, even though even though they are, you know, very good and they've accomplished a lot in the WWE career, but when it comes to SmackDown, they're they're the weak links because of their egos, and it's going to hurt SmackDown in the long run. I guarantee you that. I think Raw is going to win it this year. You know what? And probably Raw without having to deal with Kevin Owens, uh, not Kevin Owens, uh, Seth Rollins' ego, and that's what that's what made you know. I will tell you what, the egos of Rollins and Reigns, man. Let me tell you, it's going they're going to go a little bit crazy. Um. Check it out. Uh, check it out. The SmackDown Women's Championship was on the line first before the, uh, Sasha Banks came out. And then while Bailey was waiting, uh, Kayla and Braxton interviewed. Bailey's confident she was going to get the title. Bailey then comes out. Her and Banks went at it. They went about it back and forth, tried to do whatever it takes. But then at the end, uh, Banks hit the bank statement. And it's one, two, three. Uh, uh, actually, ba Bailey taps out. And Sasha Banks retains her title. So. But as Sasha Banks was celebrating to retain her title, here comes the returning Carmella kicking her in the face from behind. And so Carmella is just being Carmella. So you know what this means. Carmella could be next in line for that championship. Watch out, Sasha. You know, it's a battle of Massachusetts natives. I mean, Carmella was a Massachusetts native. Now she lives in Staten Island. Then you got Sasha Banks from Massachusetts and Boston. It's going to be a heck of a fight, let me tell you. So it's going to be... So Kevin Owens and Jay Uso were talking about what you know about last week when Jay Uso brutally attacked Daniel Bryan and all this good stuff. So um, he started cracking jokes. Jay Uso was a little upset, and then and then he went over to talk to Kayla Braxton, uh, interviewing, and then Heyman arrived and said, you know, and Kayla Braxton's get on Uso's case, and then Paul Heyman says we need to go. Roman Reigns will talk to you, and then, and then during meanwhile, Rey Mysterio was supposed to have a matchup against uh, King Corbin. Try calling his daughter. Daughter wouldn't answer. Pick up. Sends Dominic to go get his gear because Dominic says he hasn't seen her either. There's a matchup, Dad. 
Corbin attacks Rey Mysterio from behind, trying to get the advantage. And uh, Dominic rescues his father one too late. But meanwhile, Heyman did talk to Jay Uso, telling him, hey, you want to get an interview? You have to get, get it by the tribal chief. So, he was about to go talk to Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns talks to Uso and Paul Heyman. And he said, you know what? We're going to fix this KO problem. You're going to take care of it. And he tells Heyman, go get Adam Pierce. I want this match to happen. Survivor Series qualifier, Rey Mysterio versus King Corbin. A lot of craziness involved in this matchup. Seth Rollins shows up along with Murphy. And then then afterwards, Murphy and Aaliyah decide to show up. And in the end, it cost, you know, Seth Rollins jumps on Dominic. Rey, uh, Rey Mysterio went to go rescue his son. But King Corbin took advantage of that. King Corbin wins the matchup. And he'll join uh, Jay Uso and Kevin Owens at Survivor Series. Then, uh, and then, uh, Survivor Series qualifier matchup for the women's side, Natalia versus Zelina Vega versus Ruby Riot, and it was a heck of a matchup at one point until Natalia slept on the cross, uh, the sharpshooter, and Riot had a little cross face like hold on, but then all of a sudden, Natalia jumped and let it go because you think he heard Zel she heard Zelina tap, but. Ruby Riot didn't let go of her hold, and Ruby Riot won the triple threat match. So Ruby Riot will be joining forces with Bianca Belair on the women's side. The raw women's uh, the raw women's side's all set. So I'm just looking forward to see what uh, we'll, we'll see when Natalia will try to never give up until she gets caught part of a Survivor Series team. Meanwhile, Big E decided to hang out with uh, one of the female staffers to play a little trivia pursuit, and it seems like he got some money from. From her by winning it, and then the street profits go go on. Greeted Big E says, "Hey, how do you beat the New Day?" Say hey, you have to lay down so that way you don't have to beat beat you up as much. And they start laughing and joking. And then Billy Kay comes to the picture. Say, hey, "Boys, I've got a resume. I can I know all about Raw." He goes, "Yeah, but you were Raw the same time we were." And Billy Kay goes, "Okay." Another Survivor Series qualifier matchup. Otis went. Uh, Otis has been having a rough luck. Losing Mandy Rose to Monday Night Raw, and uh, his best friend Tucker out betrayed him and lost the money in the bank. Went up against Rollins, and then Murphy, Murphy again sticks his nose in it, uh, confronts Rollins. Rollins took advantage. Uh, Otis was distracted by Murphy. Rollins took advantage of that. Rollins was the matchup and joins up with Kevin Owens, Jay Uso, Seth Rollins, and King Corbin. Kevin's not gonna like this. He's gonna he's probably gonna be an island on his own, poor guy. Then afterwards Murphy confronts Seth Rollins and then Seth Rollins says, Welcome home, you're my disciple. And then Aaliyah yells at Murphy, Murphy says, Calm down, it's for the greater good. Then you come to Michael Cole. I pity Michael Cole. And he went to Inventor Lodge Sullivan and talking about how he was bullied in grade school. He says, Then it was my turn to he goes, then it was my turn to be the bully. I like bullying people. He was mean. Uh, Lars Sullivan was just a mean, mean dude. And totally psychotic, man. Let me tell you. You don't want to mess with Lars Sullivan. And even Michael Cole felt very uncomfortable doing that uh, interview. And then Jay Uso won one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Owens. Uso was, you know, Kevin Owens had the advantage. And then Uso was weak. And then Paul Heyman came out. That motivated Jay Uso. And ended up, he ended up beating Kevin Owens. Heck of a matchup, heck of a run, heck of, of everything going on. Now, like I said before, the way SmackDown's uh, shaping up, and they're trying to get out the Survivor Series, SmackDown is going to lose. Monday Night Raw has this in the bag. Let me tell you, but I'll say that for my picks and predictions another day. Um, and speaking of which, I may have to do another one. Uh... Let's go to 205 Live. Uh, Ashante Diadonis is trying to prove himself, earn respect. Went one-on-one -on -one with Mansoor. And they were about, uh, Ashante wanted to shake hands. Mansoor goes, I don't believe you. Let's get going on the matchup. The two went at it, but Mansoor did pick up the victory. And then Mansoor extended his hand after the match to Ashante Diadonis. Ashante Diadonis wanted to shake his hand. That's what the case was. Tony Nese and Sean, Tony Nese and Aria Davari were causing a whole lot of trouble for the young guns of 205 Live. So Kurt Stallion, who was giving Davari a little bit of some fits, 
um, said, okay, um, they challenged him to a tag match, but he has no partner. But the newcomer, formerly known as Anthony Green, August Gray. Um, I'm going to tell you something about August Gray. I did watch him when, during, um, during my time at the Wellness City Festival. In his younger days, as a member of Top Row Promotions, August Gray is the future. That's all I'm going to say on that matter. Then uh, they had a... But then Santos Escobar cut a promo about how there'll be a, five qualifying men in a scramble match to determine the number one contender to cruise the white title. He said that everybody's going to get a shot at it and all that. But I think Escobar omitted one person that would be Jordan Devlin. And Vic Joseph didn't mention him. Jordan Devlin, the cruiserweight champion, I'm sure is livid about this. I wouldn't be surprised he ends up showing up on NXT uh, or our 205 Live and say, hey, I've had enough. You and I need to go at it for the Undisputed Cruiserweight Championship. And then the tag match, the main event, uh, Kurt Stallion and August Gray versus Nissan Daivari. It was a heck of a matchup back and forth. Uh, Stallion Gray, two young men of the future in the WWE. But here's the thing. Tony News and Daivari, they were veterans, but also they were pretty graft, crafty. Daivari gets knocked out of the ring one time. And uh, he ends up using his chain as like brass knucks and socks Anthony Green. While Tony Nese whips him to, into the ropes. Tony Nese took advantage of it. One, two, three. Nese and Davari did pick up the victory. So I am just... Uh, i just over the hill excited about this. Because I am... Like I said, it's a... Uh, it's a thing now. Um, so, up. Oh, Uh-oh. What happened? What happened? There we are. Here I am. So, uh, so that's um, that's it. That's all the time that you have on the show. And uh, I'm hoping to get more episodes now. I'm trying to learn about this computer as I go along here. And um, I'm hoping to uh, continue it on. Well, I got to go. It is 11, 10 p.m. And, you know, I have the weekend off. off so I'll be ready to go and try to get used to this new computer. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful night. God bless. And I'll see you in episode 982.